Happy New Year and welcome to Frosty Acres. I'm Jessica. Um, it's kind of a dreary day today. It's actually January 2nd. I tried to record this all yesterday, but the footage was so bad. I'm like, oh, I'm going to try this tomorrow with uh, the tripod so maybe I can get some better footage. All right, let's see what the animals are up to. There they all are waiting for me. It's almost 8 o'clock. We are supposed to get... Um, some snow and ice later today. Uh, it looks like it, the weather could get really bad. Again. I was hoping things would calm down in the new year. There's all the boys. And just Hershey and Phoebe are out for the girls, but the other girls will come out shortly. Alright. Let's see the little boys. It's a little bit of a treacherous walk back here. Oops. Hey little guys. You ready for breakfast? It's rather appropriate the first vlog of 2023. Frosty Acres is actually frosty. I don't know if you noticed, but Kristoff even had a little bit of frost on his eyelashes. Alright, Charlie. You ready for some breakfast? Then I do know that you coming down, Andy's. Andy's has a new favorite spot. Looks like that's where he's doing all his pooping now. On top of the snow drift in the corner here. on the path out because it's too slippery and I need to concentrate on what I'm doing. But Charlie does want you to know he's hanging out here too. Looks like the rest of the gang is joining the party. 
I gotta go and get your hay wagon so I can get you ladies some hay. Can you let me in? Two little ones are here in the barn at the kitty table. So 2022 was kind of a tough year here at Frosty Acres. Uh, I told you about losing Penny, but I didn't tell you that I have actually lost four alpacas this year. It started in April with Thomas. Um, he passed away a couple days after shearing. I believe it was April 29th. And um, I noticed he'd been losing some weight and I thought maybe that's because he had been in a pen by himself, which I had had to do because he was bullying the other boys and not letting him, letting them eat. And he'd been by himself for about a year and a half, even though he could still see them and interact with them over the fence. I think that might've been detrimental to his health. And I had planned after shearing to put him back in with the other boys to see if maybe his behavior had gotten any better um, and hope that he would get healthy again. Uh, um, after shearing, they tend to lose a lot of their cockiness just because they're about half their size. So they don't feel quite so macho anymore. But um, I was gonna wait till the weekend to do that and he passed away on a Thursday, which was just two days after shearing. And it was, he seemed fine one day and then the next day he passed away, other than the weight loss. And then um, also at shearing, I noticed Willie looked like he'd lost a lot of weight. He had something funky going on with his skin. Based on what I read, it sounded like a nutritional deficiency, which, you know, considering none of the other alpacas had any nutritional deficiencies, I think it had to be something with his digestive system. He wasn't absorbing things the right way. But I still went ahead and I gave him um, oral and injectable vitamins. I gave him probiotics. Um, I did everything I could think of. I even gave him antibiotics in case he's had some kind of infection and he seemed to get better. He, the skin, his skin was looking so much better and he had gained some weight. And then suddenly in July, he went downhill and passed away. Um, and then in September, I lost Chelsea. Chelsea, um, was one of my older girls. She was 15. And um, she had been losing weight over the last couple of years, but she was kind of elderly. She was 15 years old. And that does happen some with age. Uh, she was still eating like crazy. Um, 
her, Penny, and Vanilla Cappuccino used to get into it every time at, I'd bring the hay wagon out. You'd see the three of them fighting over food. Um, but she never lost her appetite, even though I think there was something wrong with her rumen because when, and then I noticed this um, the last few days of her life, right when I suspected she was gonna die, um, that she would just, she would eat a bunch of food and then she would throw everything up and then she would eat it again. And then she would, was able to keep it down. Um, which they are modified ruminants. Um, I'll get into that a little bit more detail why they're modified in another video. So they do regurgitate, but I mean, literally everything came up. It was a mess. Um, and so she passed away mid-September. And then in um, November, Penny passed away. And she, Penny was 15 as well. The two boys, Willie and Thomas, they were 10. And I don't have any definitive answers. I have my suspicions of what they died from, but without having a vet to do a postmortem, I don't have any definitive answers. And I haven't, I put Thomas's on, put notice about Thomas passing away on Facebook and someone made a really rude comment. And after that, I decided I'm not gonna put it on Facebook anymore just because people can be so rude. And it was someone who had never even been on my page before and never commented, never liked anything. Just felt the need to tell me, say something nasty to me. Um, so that's the bad things in 2022. And then I'd also told you about Tank passing away um, in another video. Tank, we don't know for sure how old he was. He was my dad's dog, <clears throat> but he lived with me. Um, he passed away from kidney failure. So looking ahead at 2023, I'm feeling pretty optimistic, cautiously optimistic. I've got two Koreas potentially coming in 2023, maybe even three. Um, I'm gonna check the girls in the spring. I'm gonna spit check them like I showed you in previous videos. And I think I might show that on here. I'm not gonna show it on Facebook because there again, someone made a rude comment when she knew nothing about what she was talking about. Actually, several people made rude comments. Um, but that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to getting more chickens this spring. I haven't decided how many I'm gonna get. I was originally planning to get a half a dozen anyway, just because my hens are getting older and they aren't as productive. Um, so kind of thinking that over, thinking about what breeds I want, I definitely want to mix so I have a different, I just like seeing all the different colors together and um, like all the different color eggs, all the different color chickens. It's, it's a beautiful sight. Um, and then got shearing, that'll be in the end of April, doing some yarn projects with a friend and some events in 2023. Um, and I think I'm gonna go back in the house now and then a little later, I'm gonna tell you about my knitting and cross stitch projects. All right, so now time to talk about projects. I finished um, all the gnomes for my nieces and nephews. We had nephews, um, we had our Christmas family get togethers on Saturday and the gnomes were a big hit. I'm gonna post a picture right here so you can see all of them. Um, Obviously, my nieces were probably more thrilled than my nephews, but my nephews still thought they were pretty cool. And my youngest niece, I didn't make her one because she didn't have one on her list. I got her, she likes to draw and do crafts. So I got her um, a gift card to Joanne so she can pick, pick out some fun craft projects. And she was actually pretty excited when I told her that. But she has a dance recital coming up on the 15th and the um, theme is kicking it with my gnomies. So I'm gonna make her a special gnome for that. And um, I'm gonna use this yarn as one of the colors and then something that coordinates with that. I'm not sure what, but I'll show you that in a later video. I only have four whips that I'm carrying over to 2023, which I think is pretty darn good. Uh, the first one is the Nordic Nordic Night Sweater, and that's by Jennifer Steingast. Um, I started this in July in the hopes that I would have it to wear this winter. Uh, that's not looking like it's going to happen. 
But now I'm thinking I'm gonna use enter this in the fair, and this is I'm still working on the color work yoke on that right now. So I should be able to get it done by July. Hopefully. Um, then the other ones, other whips that I'm have are um, this is favorite toy. This is the first one I started in 2023 or 2022. Um, it's quite a large project. It's 16 pages and I'm on page six. And then um, the other one, or another one is Platinum Jubilee. I started this on my birthday. That's my birthday start. And this is what I've done so far on that. Got a pretty good start on that one. And then my final whip for 2022 is Silent Night. And this is how far I've gotten on that. Uh, Silent Night's going to go into hibernation at the moment. Um, I did decide to go ahead and do Whip Go this year. It's my first time doing that. And my first two pulls were for... Um, for Platinum Jubilee and Favorite Toy. And I put that I was gonna work 10 hours on each of those this month. Um, so I've got a couple new starts. I started this yesterday, the February month to month by Stitching with the Housewives. And I did nothing else yesterday. This is, I got a pretty good start on that. And then my other new start for January is going to be Falling Snow by Shannon Christine. And I told you in my last video, this is going to be my snow day project. And it looks like I'm going to get a chance to start this. Um, we're going to get some snow today and tomorrow, most likely. So I'll get a good start on that. Um, I'm going to start at the top here and then work my way down. Um, this will be the first. My plan is I didn't count these snowflakes in my original count, but I'm going to do one of these big snowflake sections each time it snows until I get all that done and then start working on these other snowflakes. So I'm also going to do some knitting projects. Um, my dad had asked me to knit some mittens and hats for him. And then I have a friend who also asked me to knit um, a set of mittens, hat, and a cowl with my alpaca yarn. And I'll show you those as I'm working on them. I haven't started those yet, but maybe today. Um, so that is it for my whips and projects. And uh, I don't make New Year's resolutions anymore. Um, they, you know, I never succeed and feel like a failure. And January is a tough enough month as it is. I do hope to work on improving my diet this year and getting more exercise, but January, I'm gonna take it easy on myself. Try and focus on fun stuff. And I've got actually a lot of fun stuff planned this month. I was working on my planner the other day and January is pretty well booked. I've got um, Stitch and B and I've got my niece's dance recital. Um, 24 hours of cross stitch is coming up later this month. Uh, and there's a couple other things. I just can't remember them right now off the top of my head. But anyway, lots to look forward to in 2023. So I just wanted to just pop on here to tell you guys all about what I've got planned. Sorry for the noise, the dogs are playing. Jack doesn't like it when Tucker and Abby wrestle. And that's why he's getting upset. But anyways, lots to look forward to in 2023. And I will see you again soon. Happy New Year.